Hello friend, welcome back. Before you install that latest Laravel version in your local host, you have to update your local host PHP version. Like if you go to that Laravel official website and here if you go to that documentation and into the documentation there is a server requirements. So if you click on the server requirements and here you can see the PHP version should be equal or higher with the 7.2.0. So if you are already using that latest version of PHP in your local host, then it should be okay. Rather than how can update your local host PHP version, in this video, I will show you that things with a live example. I will work this project into the local host and for the local host, I am using the XAMPP. And XAMPP is the free local host server and that is totally free if you go to that Google and here if you search with the XAMPP download. And from to these positions like they have some of the links like here if you open it and from here you can download that XAMPP like that is our 7.1 and 3 there is a PHP version is 7.1 and also that is another one so it depends on your windows if you are using that windows then you can download that things from here that is for the Linux that is for the OS okay so whatever the version you actually need you can download that things from here it's pretty much easy one of the things first of all you have to do you have to download it and then you have to just install it and after that install you get this type of one of the box and here first of all you have to do you have to run your apache and the mysql like if you click on the start and here i also want to start our mysql so when you will be start two of these then if you uh, put that as a local host like here i just define that local host then you get that type of one of the page and into the page here if you go to the php info and into the php info right now i am using the php version 5.4 so how can update it how can update your local host php version in this video i will show you that things with the live example so now let's get started i already installed that xamp so here i already installed it so for the reasons now i want to update it for doing this like they have the one of the resource as a 44g.net and the project and the xamp and into the position here you can see there is actually the jam and here you have to go to the files and into the files they have all that versions like for the mac version that is for the linux version that is for the windows version so right now i'm using the windows for the reasons i am select this one and here you get all that your php versions like there is a 7.3.9 that is a 7.2.2 that is 7.3.8 and also then another one is 7.3.7 .7. so here you can see that is all that file so if you like select as a 7.3.7 because .7, in our laravel it should be required as a 7.2.0 okay so right now so that is actually okay so that is a 7.3.7 .7. and here you get all that file like that is one of the g file so here that is a 64 bit g file 7.3.7 .7. So first of all you have to do you have to download it if you click on here it's automatically will be download in your computer i already download this file if you go to your exercise folder so this is the exercise folder i will share that things with you you will get that file okay so now you can see that is a xamp for the 7.3.7 .7. i already download that file so that is a xamp and 7.3.7 .7. So first of all you have to do you have to uh, click on the right button and here one of the option for the extract here so first of all you have to extract it and when you extract then you get this type of one of the folder and you can see that is actually the xamp folder so all that file is included on particular that position so now we have to do we have to update three files one of the apache folder and there is a php and the php my admin so these three folder we have to update in our local host so when you install that XAMPP, you will get one of the folder in your C drive. Like if you go to that, your C drive, where actually you install that XAMPP. So here I install my XAMPP in our C drive. And here you can see when you install it, you get this type of one of the folder as a XAMPP. And now you have to open it. And into these positions, like here, you have to update this Apache. And that is actually PHP and the PHP my admin. So that's all for our old version like here i already discussed about that things with you here now i am using the php version 5.4 so now i want to update it so if you want to update then you have to actually update these three file so right now better i just make as a rename or rather then you can also delete that things from here so i just define as a apache old for before doing this you have to do you have to stop your apache okay 
like here i just stop this apache and also stop that mysql so now here i just define as a apache old and also i have to update this one there is a php so i just define as a old and also for this one i just define as a php my admin as a old okay so here I just define that as a old, I just rename it, right? And then you can also delete that things from here. And now we have to do, we have to update this three folder. Like I already download one of the file that is actually 7.3.7 .7 for the XAM. So now there is an Apache, PHP and the MyPHP admin. So now I have to do, I have to copy three of this folder and now go to our local host into the XAMPP area. And now simply I just paste three folder on particular that position. So it may take little time. So when it should be done, then I will come back again. Our three folder is paste successfully in our XAM folder. Like that is our Apache folder, that is a PHP folder, and the PHP my admin. Now we have to do we have to open our PHP folder. And into the PHP folder, they have one of the file as a uh, this one uh, that is actually the php.in. So now I open it with the sublink text editor. And into this position, you have to do, you have to update one of the path. Like if you click on the search and here I just define it as XAMPP. And you can see that is one of the path. That's the path you have to update. Like here, if you go to the local host, like that is actually the C. Okay. So for now, I just copy it. And now here into this position, you have to update that path. There is a C and the XAMPP and then the PHP. So now let's find out another one. So this one also I have to update it. And now another one. So here I also want to update that all path. So that is another one. Okay. So I just update that path. And that is also another one. I just update it. And also I want to update this one. Let's find out another one. So this one I also have to update. And also that is another one I updated and now click on the find so every path is now updated successfully so that's the things you have to do like now I just click on the save all and now you have to do you have to run your Apache and the MySQL so now I just click on the start for the Apache and also that is a MySQL so now if you go to your local host like here that is our local host I'm just refreshing that page and now if you go to the PHP info Yes, now you can see that is a PHP version 7.3.7. .7. So now we successfully updated our localhost PHP version. I hope you can well understand about it, how can do that work. And also there is a PHP by admin. So that means all the database related issues will be in particular that position. Like if you go to the PHP by admin, yes, it's also perfectly working on here. I hope you can well understand about it, how can update your localhost PHP version. So that's the file. I will share that file with you. So you get that things from to this position that is the exercise file folder. So this form, this folder, you have to update three of the folder that is the Apache and that is actually the PHP and the PHP my admin. I hope you can well understand about it, how can update your localhost PHP version. In our next video, I will discuss about that Laravel. How can install that Laravel latest version at the 6 is recently released? Okay, so how can you install that Laravel in your local host? In our next video, I will show you that things with a live example. So, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.